become big for glory of God or to glory of yourself. Man has to recognize our life is beyond the body. That's why it says, though they knew God, they did not glorify God. So when you are not in touch with the spirit, what will happen? They lost themselves in their reasoning. They lost themselves in their reasoning. Who and they are. Why are they here? Meaning, the fear of God is lost. Once the fear of God is lost, striving after the spirit is lost, making my life much more than this flesh and the world is lost, if that is not my life quest, if it, that is not my life journey, what is left out then? Read. Darkness filled their minds. In the absence of light, darkness fills man. Uh -huh. Continue. Be believing themselves wise, they became foolish. They, in the absence of striving after the spirit of God, they strive after the flesh of themselves. Making, I know everything. Who is she to tell? Who is she to tell me? Who is she to guide me? After all, she is my wife. Telling, holding on to self. You think you are wise, you become fool. Continue. They exchange the glory of the immortal God. They exchange the glory which God has kept for them. For to, the, the, to, the, to the glory of the mankind. If somebody tells you are looking handsome, I am so happy with that. If somebody says you are beautiful, I have never seen a girl like you. So kind, so loving. Somewhere Satan is connecting you. You are a man of the spirit who is supposed to be open to the spirit and to possess all that of the spirit to bring his light to this dark world which is your mission and my mission. Instead of being with the light and possessed with the light and bringing that light to the dark world, I tie up myself with these dark forces. And I think that is the pleasure. It is not because today what I communicate is, is it is not that man desires to tie up oneself to the flesh, but in the absence of striving, in the absence of striving towards the spirit, you are mad after the flesh. In the absence of striving, hungering for the spirit, in the absence of working day and night for the spirit, what is left out is your hunger for the flesh. That's why Genesis chapter 6 verse 3 says, the spirit of God will not strive after the human beings. The spirit of God, in the name of grace, he will show you sometime. He was shaking. He was, Samson was lying at the lap of a prostitute. And the prostitute took the money from the Philistines, the enemies of Samson. And the lady said, she tied him up and said, Samson, get up. The spirit of God, the mercy of God came and anointed Samson. When? He is lying at the lap of a prostitute. He is a drunkard man. Holy Spirit. Only the parents do that. They forget about themselves. They stand with the children who have kicked them. Because they say blood is thicker than the water. But here is one beyond the parents. Sometime more than that, the parents also will kick you out. If you become nuisance for them, we have taken care of you till we are old. Till now you are troubling us, get lost, they lock it. But here is someone, God, who is much more than the parents. So he comes to anoint Samson when he was lying at the lap of a prostitute as a drunkard man. 
God anoints him and protects him. Samson was filled with the Holy Spirit. He caught up from the prostitute's lap. He saw a bone of a donkey, took it and killed the Philistines who were thousands of them with the swords and spears. That is the grace of God. Even after fallen, even after receiving so many experience of what is the meaning of fallen, if you don't try to get up, still you think your life is connected with this world. Still you think your life is only achievement. Your life is not achievement. Jesus said, one who wants to possess this world, they are losing me. He who is after to become somebody, have lost that who he is. He is someone in the Lord. Man who is striving to be in the world, I want to be someone. It's the sign he has lost that he is already someone in the Lord. He has not created us to become somebody. He has called us to celebrate who we are in him. And man's life is, yes, instead of giving glory to God, he began to give glory to himself. Continue. Because of this, ah. God gave, him, gave them up to their inner cravings and they did shameful so things. God gave them, gave up. Like the parents, you know, they give up for a certain level, they walk. Still you don't listen, they give up. God tells them, you don't listen, get lost. There is a time of grace and you don't listen to it, still you are mad after it, the door is closed for you. I'm sorry many people don't preach the truth, but you should know. You should know the truth. You cannot go on play with your sin. You cannot allow the sin. You may tell, no, I'm not after the sin. Yes, you are not after the sin, but you don't realize sin is after you. The enemy is after you. Unless you run to the light, you will not be attacked by the darkness. Your life journey is run after the light. Wear the light. Delight in the light. And celebrate light. This is what I want to communicate to you. What is your life journey? What is the purpose of your life? What is your life journey you need to do? That's why he said in Matthew, Chapter 6, verse 33, the people of this world are running after all these things. What to eat, what to drink, how to become big, how to become great in the world, how can I achieve, how can I get from this car to another car. But you, life is something beyond your flesh, something beyond this body, beyond this world. So seek first him. Seek first him. And the kingdom. The power that he has kept for you. The glory that is meant for you. The life that you are supposed to give it to this world. Your life is something beyond you. Being connected with you. You bring life. That's why in Psalm number 1 it is said, All the trees fade away in the summer, but not the trees that were planted near the streams of living water. Sometimes even the water may be dried up. Because they were near the streams, they have collected enough water and they survive the summer. The trees that are enough during the rainy season, they have collected enough water. They have kept themselves on, on the bank of the river. They can be able to handle the life. The rest of the trees will fade away, become victim to the hot summer. Summer can come and it will come in your life. Without telling you, temptation will come to you. Without telling you, some problems will come into your body. Without telling you, some disturbance will come. Then how will you handle it? If you are not 
empowered and moving with the spirit you will become flat to the flesh if you are not carrying the light you will be fallen in darkness that's why in romans 1 he says they have exchanged they have exchanged for what they exchanged the glory which god has kept for them instead of possessing that they have exchanged with what the little stupid world give it to us that you are great you can achieve great you can do thing many things great i am a great preacher father christ raj i am the founder if i die whether you put roja mala ah huh? or any garland what is the use if i have not taken care of my soul recently one of our who are close to us passed away we bought a huge garland and we put it and someone sitting with me commented the roja mala looks nice but why did you waste this money i said why definitely she will be looking from heaven i said another fellow looked at me and said are you sure that person is in heaven i don't think so are papre eh? keeping the body people are dare to say that i was shocked and pained do you know this person is in heaven i don't think so that's all world and do you know for that same person well the, the person who is dead was alive the person who was commanded is the person received so much of help my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord